just want to record this video. All you assholes and say, oh, Joe, why you need to hunker down for the store? You need to hunker down and stuff for the store. Just not built like me. You got to take a systematic approach towards something that you got to listen to the guy in the newscast and tell you what to do. You subconsciously telling you still what to do. You're still scared. You put fear into your heart so bad. They put fear in your heart so bad that you still have to back up to whatever it is that they tell you to back up to do. See, that's the thing. Most of you people don't have balls. You, you got to listen to someone else and what they tell you to do. And here's the thing. The same people that say that is the same systematic people that play by the rules say. They don't know shit about survival. They just play by the rules. Bad, bad. People read so many fucking books and they think, you know, after reading all these books and shit, you know, you're getting ahead. No, it just shows that you know how to follow the fucking rules. That's really all it is. You know, a lot of you people are scared of this thing, man. Scared of what? Just because a little leaves is on the ground, a little, a little rain is just and stuff. You know, y'all scared of that stuff, man? Come on, man. There's nothing to be scared of. I mean, the wind is blowing, guess what? Oh, well, if it works, I go in. But if not, you know, I won't. I'm walking around this city right now. Because I'm not scared, you know, like a little pussy. You know, all that good stuff, like a lot of punks is. You know, but the same people that are getting scared are just the same ones that went to these Ivy, Ivy League colleges and thinking, you know, they're, they're better than everyone. Just because of the simple fact that they follow the rules and stuff of that nature. And some of them may have a good paying job sucking on another, another dude dick. Just because you're good at sucking dick doesn't mean, you know, <coughs> you're a good person or you're living well. But you, when it comes out into the real world, survival of the fittest, you'll fold up because of the simple fact that you don't got a, you don't got a fucking book to read. It's just that simple. You don't have a book to read, so you're going to fold up. You're going to fold up like a little cunt. I'm serious. And I hate to put it in this put it in, in here so viciously but you're gonna fold up because of the simple fact that you don't have a book to read and a system to go by but for me a person like me you know I'm not gonna fold up because I'm not a pussy like you you know I'm not gonna just say oh man you know I don't have a book to read there is no instructions no one to tell me what to do just make your own rules tell yourself what to do take control of your life have balls for once you know a lot of people just don't have them. I'm serious. Just because the weatherman tell you to go in the house to do some shit, you you gonna automatically go in the house and do what they tell you. Fuck that. I go in the house whenever I feel like it. I don't have to, I don't need someone to tell me what to do when I want to do it. And this thing is, you know, oh, you sound like you just assess and uh, assess with people and control. You're a control freak and things of that nature. Not necessarily. Yeah, I'm a control freak over my life. You know, yeah, it's my life. No one can tell me what to do with my life. And yes, I am going to take advice. I am going to take great advice when I see great advice being taken. Given, um, of course, I'm gonna take into consideration of that advice. But at the same time, I'm not gonna be a pussy and scared uh, to to learn things my way too. I'm not gonna be a pussy and say and be accepted to every advice from everyone else just because they have a certain standard in this quote unquote society, this good boy society. If you be a good boy and you suck the dick good long, long enough, you know, I'm gonna basically. BMW and a nice two-story houses with four bedrooms and shit like that. You know, I'm not gonna fall for that. You can have that shit. You know, I rather own my owns. Fuck that. A lot of you pussies don't want to own your owns. You know, a lot of you pussies want to follow the rules. And when someone tells you, hey, there ain't no rules, you're like, what the fuck, man? There ain't no rules. You need to start looking at the bad side of there not being rules and start looking at the good side of there 
of there not being rules. If you look at the good side, if there is no rules, that means you can do whatever the fuck you want. And that means other people can do what the fuck they want. Y'all just look at the bad side as other people can do what the fuck they want. But look at it, you can do whatever the fuck you want in this life too. It's you. Now still have morals and values and abide by those morals and values, but at the same time, do not listen to what someone tells you to do, this systematic thing. Oh, there's trees back there. I hope it don't, don't blow away and knock me out. Pussies. At the same time, oh, there's a, there's a cable right there. Hope it don't fall and kill me. Pussies. Y'all really scared. Like, grow some balls, some kahinas, you know? Just, you know, some jugs. You know, grow some. Like, seriously. A lot of people are scared and, and automatically want to follow the rules and stuff all the time. It blows me. It kills me the fact that y'all want to follow rules and suck somebody else's dick. It really kills me. There is no rules. Make up when you break them, find a solution to break them again. All right? Find a better solution to continue doing what you want to do without breaking them so they don't kick you off the network or some shit, you know? For real. I'm in the middle of the hurricane, day two of this hurricane, you know? Nothing but a little bit of wind blowing, you know, just taking a little run and stuff when I'm walking around, you know. I record, I record my documentary tomorrow too during this fucking hurricane. Fuck that dude looking at. I ain't gonna slap the shit out of his ass. Keep on looking over. But yeah, talk to you later.